It's me, Froilan. I will tell you a bit more about stars. Let's start with the weirdest: neutron stars. First, what are neutron stars? Well, they are dead stars that are immensely small, smaller than Earth. These stars have radioactive effects. That's why they are also called neutron stars. If there would be a neutron star near to the sun. Then, if it would shoot a kind of radioactive bubble, then the star that it hits, the sun, would be neutralized immediately. Okay. Did you know that neutron stars are the most dangerous things in the universe? N- now, let's go. To the second thing, still very weird. Black holes. Black holes have an enormous gravity. They're also dead stars, but they're still bigger than neutron stars. And they also don't give light. They're not radio radioactive. And their core is called a singularity. The outer layer of a black hole is called an event horizon. Did you know that black holes are spinning? This is quite crazy because they will never start spinning until the end of the universe. Now, let's go to stars. Let's start with the smallest one. White dwarfs. The most of these stars are small stars that died. These stars are so fast that they can escape the outer layer of a black hole's event horizon. Now. Bigger stars, red dwarfs. Red dwarfs are sm- much smaller than the sun. The nearest red red dwarf to the sun is Barnard's star. This star cannot be seen with the naked eye. Because it shines so dimly and it's so small, and it's also very far. Now, bigger. Yellow dwarfs. These dwarf stars are not really dwarfs; they're more medium-sized. These main sequence stars. Become red giants at the end of their life. The sun is a yellow dwarf. Now even bigger than that. Orange giants. These stars sound like they are giants, but. They're not really so big compared with the most bigger stars. They're more a kind of giant phase of a red dwarf because the sun will be bigger at the end of its life. Now, red giants. Okay, this sounds big, but they're still really small compared with other big stars. These red stars 
shine very bright. Even if they're more than a million light years distance from here, you can still see them at the night sky. Now, blue giants are a bit smaller than red giants. So, they're still much smaller than other stars. But, even though they are small, they shine brighter than most of the other stars in the night sky. Take Sirius A, for example. This big star is almost four times as large as the sun. Maybe even bigger than that. This very big giant is really big. Very big. I mean it. Big. That's why it's also a blue giant. But even bigger than blue and red giants are blue hyper giants. Hyper giants are the largest types of stars. But even though blue hyper giants are hyper giants, some super giants are still bigger. Blue hypergiants are much bigger than red and blue giants, but still much smaller than the small than the largest types. Did you know that blue hypergiants are the third largest types of stars? Now Let's go to the red supergiants. These supergiants are very special for their kind. They're bigger than blue hypergiants. There are just two types larger than blue hypergiants. Take Betelgeuse for example. This enormous star is very red like all of the other red stars and it also shines very bright every 600 million years you see a very bright light in the sky that's the light of Betelgeuse now Let's go to the largest type. And, the, and that's also the most short-lived type. Red Hyper Giants! These stars are just enormous. Take the largest star that... the that we ever discovered Stevenson 218 okay it has a short name but it's really enormous more than 1000 solar masses that's really enormous right the Sun is just a marble compared with it wait no even smaller than that. Stevenson 218 is really enormous. If you would com if you would compare it with the sun, it's like you're comparing Jupiter with Mercury. But planets deserve their own video though. Stevenson 218 is very short-lived and there are less than 100 stars of his kind. If he dies in if Stevenson 218 will die in a supernova, then it will spread a lot of gas.
to make new stars. Maybe smaller stars. Maybe a new red hypergiant. We don't know because that's in a few thousand years. Now, cool facts about stars. Stars are one of the biggest things in the universe. Stevenson 218 is maybe the largest star that there will ever exist. At the end of the universe, the last life forms will be stars and black holes. While well, we think they are life forms, but maybe they're just made out of, but maybe they're just a mass with some gravity. We don't know, but we do know that the last living things will survive around black dwarfs, white dwarfs, red dwarfs, and black holes. And also, Stars shine so bright that they're almost the only thing you can see in the night sky. Okay, thanks for watching guys. I hope you learned a lot. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share. Also, don't forget to ring the bell so then you will not miss any updates of new videos in my channel, Freelance World! Bye guys, and see you next time.